Film Guy recaps here, don't forget to like and subscribe. The film opens with Emma, who is unhappily married to her cold and controlling husband Mark. Mark is a criminal attorney and Emma has apparently started an affair with a man named Tom, who is a partner at her husband's law firm. Mark is not a loyal husband either, but Emma has a guilty conscience. She ends the secret affair with Tom when she realizes that she has been married to Mark for 11 years, and she can't throw away her marriage like that. After ending her affair with Tom, Emma decides to go to Mark's office to celebrate their anniversary. But she does not find Mark. Instead, she finds an old file of her case with Bobby. Emma used to work as a photographer and a man named Bobby once tried to steal her camera. Bobby stabbed her in an attempt to steal the camera, but Emma shoved her car key in his eyes in order to defend herself. She finds all of these details mentioned in the file, and the memory of this incident makes her a bit anxious, since it was very traumatizing for her. Soon, Mark arrives and takes the file. She tries to forget about it as both of them go to dinner. At dinner, Mark surprises her with a necklace made of steel. He then blindfolds her and drives her to a secluded lake house that they used to visit early on in their relationship. The area around the lake house is covered in snow. However, we see that Mark has made the house very cozy with candles. He has also hung many of their wedding pictures. Once inside, both of them have a celebratory drink. Mark apologizes for his past behavior and both of them start to make love. The next morning, Emma wakes up and finds herself handcuffed to Mark. He takes a gun and does the unthinkable as Emma witnesses everything in shock and horror. With blood splattered on her face and clothes, she has absolutely no idea what to do next. She gets exceedingly perplexed but ultimately finds the courage to get up and take the gun in her own hands. She tries to shoot the handcuff but she discovers that there are no bullets inside the gun. She goes inside the closet and finds her wedding dress. Behind the wedding dress she finds a safe. She puts Mark on top of the wedding dress and drags him around the house so that she could find something to cut the handcuffs but she finds nothing sharp. She tries to find her phone but Mark had placed it in water. She eventually finds the SUV keys in the trash and decides to go to the garage. She continues to drag Mark's body along as she gets in the car. When she finally starts the vehicle, the radio plays an ominous and taunting audio message from Mark. The recording reveals that Mark knew about her affair with Tom. In a twisted turn of events, Mark blames himself for all of Emma's wrongdoings, and claims that his dead body is Emma's anniversary present. The car then dies, as all of the gas had been siphoned out by Mark. Now too stunned to speak, she realizes that she has no way to escape. Emma again goes inside and cleans Mark's blood that was on her face. She goes inside the room where she saw her wedding pictures earlier. Instead of wedding pictures, she now sees pictures of her and Tom. She also finds a recording in which there were details about her case with Bobby. That was a traumatizing event in her life and after listening to it again, she gets very angry. She starts to have a meltdown and breaks the recorder in a writ of rage. She screams at the dead body and tells Mark that he was dead to her before all of this. She takes out all her frustration and pent-up anger by yelling at Mark's body. After that, Tom arrives at the lake house. He explains that he was called there by messages from Emma's phone. Tom gets extremely shocked after seeing Mark's body but eventually, he believes Emma when she tells her side of the story. He tells her that Mark was facing disbarment for illegal activities. They both speculate that Mark decided to end himself because of this, but also because he wanted to take revenge on Emma and Tom. Which is why he sent messages to Tom from Emma's phone. Since Mark drowned Emma's phone the night prior, she asks Tom to call the police from his phone. Tom decides to go and get his phone from his car but just as they are talking, they see a truck approaching them in the distance. Tom tells Emma to hide as a man named Jimmy comes out of the truck. Jimmy tells Tom that he's there to fix the plumbing. Tom gives him money and tells him to leave but he is adamant, and keeps trying to come inside. Then, Bobby the camera thief also gets out of the truck and approaches Tom. Bobby does not say anything and viciously stabs Tom many times without any hesitation. It is revealed that Bobby is Jimmy's brother and he just got out of prison after serving 10 years. Emma manages to evade the men and makes it to the boat shed. Jimmy gets very frightened after looking at his brother stabbing another man. However, Bobby claims that they need the diamond that is in the safe that Emma discovered earlier in the closet. They have to find Emma as she is the only one who knows the code to the safe. Emma uses an anchor to try and cut herself free from Mark's body. While she tries to cut his arm, Jimmy arrives on the scene. Emma hides underneath a cloth while Jimmy sees Mark's body and runs away. Jimmy comes back to the shed with Bobby but Emma manages to hide yet again. She overhears them discussing how Mark had hired them to end Emma's life, and that they need to find the diamonds that Mark had promised to give them. As the men search the house, Emma finds a fuel can and decides on refueling the SUV. She goes outside and goes into the garage. 
Bobby senses a presence in the garage and goes to check. She hides under the car but Bobby slashes the tires. Emma then makes her way to the attic and lures the men there. She tricks Booby and hits him with a golf club which knocks him unconscious. She comes down and locks Jimmy in a nearby room. She goes outside and attempts to escape in Tom's car, but Bobby intervenes. Emma manages to dial 911 and scream but Bobby takes the phone and breaks it. He throws the phone away then proceeds to kick her in the face and renders her unconscious. She later wakes up in the bedroom, once again cuffed to Mark's body. Emma tells them that she does not know the code to the safe. Bobby tells Emma that the safe's code is the date Mark proposed to her. When she does not cooperate, Bobby tells her that he spent time in prison and he knows how to torture someone. He takes a knife and almost cuts her toes off when Jimmy objects and points Mark's gun at Bobby. Jimmy feels bad for Emma as he thinks that she is trapped in this situation for no reason. Emma asks him to open her handcuffs and he obliges. Once Emma is free, she agrees to reveal the code so that they can take the diamonds and leave her alone. However, this was just another twisted game that Mark had planned. When Bobby opens the safe, he finds a hacksaw inscribed with a clue that implies the diamonds are close to Emma's heart. We now see that the diamonds are on the necklace that Mark gave Emma as a present. The necklace has no latch and is impossible to remove. Jimmy tries to cut it off but he eventually fails. Bobby realizes that the necklace can only be retrieved by decapitating Emma. Bobby takes a hacksaw and tries to cut her throat when Jimmy again tries to stop him. Both of them start to fight as Jimmy tries to save her life but Bobby just wants the diamonds no matter how. While fighting, he pushes Jimmy away and he very roughly hits his head to a cloth hanging rail. This results in Jimmy dying before Emma's eyes. Unable to cope with the reality that he just took his brother's life, Bobby begins to blame Emma for everything. Enraged, Bobby attacks Emma. She tries to fight back but Bobby throws her down on the floor. She tries to get up but Bobby stabs her in the leg. After some struggle, she manages to fight him off. She cuffs Bobby to Mark's body in order to slow him down. Now in an exceedingly frail condition, Emma manages to make it back to Tom's car. Bobby keeps following her while dragging Mark's body with him. She hits Bobby with the car and tries to go away but hitting him affects the car as well and she crashes into the boat shed. This accident does not impact Bobby that much but Emma gets hurt badly. She gets even weaker than she was before. Emma exits the car and tries to crawl away but Bobby also starts to crawl behind her, even though he is cuffed to Mark. Bobby finally reaches her and grabs her leg. She fights Bobby on the frozen lake for some time. Eventually, she stabs Bobby in the shoulder just as the ice begins to crack. Mark's body falls into the lake, dragging Bobby with him as he was handcuffed to him. But just as Bobby is about to drown into the cold recesses of the frozen lake, he manages to grab Emma and pull her in as well. Bobby tries his best to drown Emma with him but Emma keeps trying to escape. Emma keeps fighting and she takes the knife out of his shoulder and jabs him in the eye. Now facing a fatal injury, Bobby lets her go. Mark's body drags Bobby down to his death as Emma swims up to try and get out. She swims up and sees that there is no way out as slippery ice is all around her. She almost drowns when she takes the knife and starts to break the ice. She finally finds a substantial piece of ice to leverage her out of the lake. Lying atop the ice, Emma removes her wedding ring and lets it roll into the lake as sirens are heard approaching in the background. Here this movie ends. To watch more awesome and thought-provoking movie recaps, please subscribe to Film Guy Recaps. Don't forget to like this video and tell us in the comments which movie you want to see next. Goodbye for now.